Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and welcome to the 26th day of March 2024. It is Tuesday, and today we venture forth into the stars to continue our search for a hot planet with some radioactive aliens near you. And also to see if I can get any more alien tech. I swear, I swear, I know there's at least one that I found just out and about in previous sessions that allowed me to have lots of jumpy airtime. And I was also assured by the dev that there is at least one more that is available at, on the alien city planet. And, and I would like to see what it is. But, we have some preliminary stuff to do. First off, I did remember to make a post about my stream over on the Star Explorers uh, Discord. So that's, that's taken care of. Also, by the way, hello to uh, ba -ba 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 Emma, Cuddles, Loki... And, uh, what is a silver egg? Did state of all your garments at 12th? Oh, you also found a silver egg. What are eggs? What are eggs? Okay, in the Twitch chat, which, by the way, I'm multi-streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Um, in the Twitch chat, I have one of these little bots that allows you to do something like Pokemon, only instead of Pokemon, you get to catch other users. And uh, we've just discovered that there's eggs. Don't know what they are or what they do. That's very interesting. Ah, looks like I need to do a little bit more research on that. Um, anyway, uh, before I get too far into things, though, let's bring up this here so that I can say a very... Warm and heartfelt thank you to Elmaze Eleven, Zogma Infinium, Sean, Little Cuddles, and Xblaze Ninja Zero. All of you guys make it so that I am able to even do this at all. And the fact that you also hang out and um, participate on Discord and everything else, it just means so much to me. It really does. Um, but it honestly if it weren't for the support that i get i wouldn't be able to do this and i thank you very deeply from the bottom of my dark little heart uh let's see here also speaking of some of my patreon members and also the discord let's see here we have only one announcement came through it looks like it's the youtube one yeah it's so weird why the Twitch ones don't come through. And sometimes the Twitch comes through, YouTube doesn't. I, I don't get it. Looks like today we have just a... Ooh, here's some more dad jokes. Uh, coming in live. First one from X-Blaze Ninja Zero. I'll tell you what often gets overlooked. Garden fences. By the way, anyone who knows of the uh, the show, show Tool... To or Home Improvement... With Tim, the tool man, Taylor, um, the the neighbor who always had half of his face covered all the time. It was a running gag all the way throughout the whole show. Uh, the reason why that was a thing is because Tim Allen, he remember when he was a kid, he would always only see like the top half of his neighbor's face over the fence. Because he was short. He was a kid. And he also associated his his neighbor with like nuggets of wisdom and things. And so that character was based on experiences from Tim, Tim Allen as a kid. Seeing some sage neighbor talking with the top half, half of his head over the fence. Interesting, interesting. Uh, anyway, next dad joke is don't buy flowers at a monastery. We've had this one before. Uh, because you can... Only you can prevent florist friars. And that doesn't usually get me uh, stuck on saying florist friars because I, I've told a 
much longer j version of the joke that uh, has only Hugh, as in H U G H, person's name, only Hugh can prevent florist friars. Anyway, uh, and lastly, where does Batman go to the bathroom? The bat room. Obviously. Where does a mummy go to the bathroom, though? The bath tomb. I I present you that fun little typo that is now living in my head rent-free for the rest of my life. Ah, uh, anyway. Let's come back over here. Yeah, there's there's no announcement from Twitch for today's stream so far. Very weird, very weird. Uh, I have no error messages so far today. That's good. Um, I don't know what would have caused them before other than the router. I need to get that taken care of. I, it's on the to-do list. Can I put a link to the channel with Meteorite to my... Wait, hold what? Can I put link to channel with Meteorite to mine with RPG Meteorite? Uh, sure. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, I missed fending off the horde of sirens. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's bring up this over here. Let's bring up this over here. And then it is time for me to go over to this. This is that game that makes the big fuss whenever I have to change windows. So I don't like to have it up before I'm uh, ready to get it started for my streams. It, it, it chimes at me. But this should bring up the game. There we go. Yep. And now I bring up the chats over here and over here. I will also go RPG Raid Forest. And uh, I forgot to make some armor after yesterday's stream. Hmm. Anyway, uh, what I didn't forget to do, though, was push past 10,000 items on... Uh, Infinite craft. I, I am well past 10,000 items now. But we're not here for infinite craft. We're here for space. I tried to double click and it wasn't doing anything. I didn't know if it would work or not. Bring on the orbits. Turn off the tips. I uh, don't know. It looks like I've been to everything that's important on this star system. Okay, cool. So let's find another star. I just saw one. Orbit disengaged. All right, we have seven planets over there and two planets over there. Let's go to the two planets first. Warp engines engaged. So I had... Let, let me, before I explain that, let me backtrack a little bit. Successfully approached. There are many people who swear up and down that you can't read in your dreams, you can't uh, let's see colors and 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 whole bunches of other things are not possible while you're in dreams. And to that I say nonsense. Because I know for engaged. sure that I personally have no problem seeing colors and reading. And last night I had an interesting observation in one of my dreams uh, there were 
you know those those like uh, street signs that rotate? Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Uh, those street signs that that rotate, or or shop signs that rotate in front of the shop. Just a vertical line of letters, and they spin around, sort of like a barber shop thing. Only it's it's just letters. Well, I had a dream where there's a place. I, th I guess it was a a pub or something. I don't know, uh, but it was called the Wyvern or Wyvern, however you pronounce that. And I had the realization that. The word wyvern, the first half of it, W-Y-V, when, when written in capital letters anyway, is symmetrical. W can be back and forth, and it's still W. Y and V, same thing. And then the last half is asymmetrical. If you take an E and put it backwards, it's definitely not an E. And same with the R and same with the N. As a matter of fact, if you take the R and the N backwards, you get the Ya and the I in, in Russian. But, uh, yeah, in my dream, I, I had this eureka moment of, hmm, the first half is symmetric and the second half isn't. Neat. Had another dream where I was visiting someone, and when I arrived at their house, they had freshly hatched exotic birds of different species on their porch. Like an emperor penguin, uh, something that I am now going to call a blood pelican because it was, it was all like deep crimson red. So there are no interesting things. I mean, there's a cave, but there's nothing of import. No, no temple on this planet. Yeah, I, I, when I saw the Emperor Penguin, I knew it was, uh, or maybe it was an, an actual Emperor Penguin. Maybe it was just my brain that constructing something that w looked close enough to what my brain would say an Emperor Penguin is. But anyway, it had orbit disengaged. It had those. Uh, those orange Solar engines edges engaged. around it that, that that the Emperor Penguins have and all that. And there was a third thing. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. It looked more like a fish of some kind. I don't know what, but it was it was my I know it was meant to be a bird. Hey, I wonder if there's a temple on this planet. Oh. And Yes, just like any planet with a temple, we have a tornado. All right, sapphire key. Okay, there's a Cursola in Twitch chat. Let me make noise and come over and catch the Cursola pokey catch. There we go. We have Ancient Elixir again. Take all that. Oh, where's my notes? There we go. I'll need that. A horde of goblins has appeared. Let's fight it. Uh, RPG. Oh, let's let's uh, home row this RPG battle. I don't know what that would have been if I had just hit enter, but it wasn't RPG battle for sure. Oh. Let's outrun the tornado. Okay. Onward. We are in planet 10, 3, 2. And let's go ahead and mark this. 
I am on a different star now. I'm over here. I am on this planet there. Saf key to do. And again, I don't actually fully explore these right now because I don't know how many come back and find tablets. All right, we've got seven planets over there. Let's go. Warp engines engaged. Did not see any UFOs. Star system successfully approached. Uh oh. Just lost on Twitch. Oh, already? A few seconds ago. Oh my goodness. All right, let's pin that. There we go. Ay, 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 ay. Very frustrating. I, I need to figure out what's going on with my internet. I, I need to get someone out here to uh, replace the router so that I can at least narrow down whether or not that's the issue. Solar engines engaged. Ay, 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 ay. Very frustrating. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna keep on trucking. Nothing much that I can do about the uh, the connection for now. I just have to grin and bear it. So the dev has wanted me to uh, see if I can put together about a 20 minute or so video on this game so that they can have it uh, linked on on the uh, Steam page or whatever. And I have realized that that's going to entail me doing, whoa, hey now. That's going to entail me doing a little bit of uh, uh, non-streamed content because... Oh, you're still following me. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. You're very excited to see me. Gotcha. Gotcha. I understand. Anyway, uh, because... Well, for one thing, the, the connection issues. Another thing... I would like to put the game in, in as good a light as possible. So that means I would need to edit out little areas where there might be bugs. Because if you've watched this enough, you know that uh, virtually every single day there's a bug. Whether it's a database crash or something, there's there's a bug very frequently Orbit with this game. Disengaged. And I would rather not show off the bugs. Let's go to this one. Solar engines engaged. Additionally, uh, if I'm showing the game, I probably need to be focusing on the game, not like chat or anything else. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is doing a little bit of 
just video recording. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Uh, do a little bit of video recording offline and then upload a video. So there might be a uh, Star Explorers video going up on my channel s sometime in the near future. Oh, this is a very flat world. This is remarkably flat. If there was something on this world, I'd be able to see it. I'll go around once. But I'm going to say there's nothing. This is what I would call desolate. accidentally minimized the YouTube chats. There isn't anything new, but I would like to make sure that's up. So this is a nothing world. Oops. Let's go ahead and mark this as a nothing world. Orbit disengaged. Oh, I... I skipped a planet, apparently. Nothing. Solar engines engaged. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. So how are you guys today? I'm doing pretty good. I had some fish fillets for lunch. And some old, uh, some old bay spice. I almost called it Old Spice, yeah. I, I, I put on my deodorant on my fish fillets. It adds that extra little something. Um, no, the, the Old Bay Spice and some shredded cheese on top. Very yummy. A little bit of tartar sauce. There's not, there's not a temple on this planet. Who am I fooling? There's no temples. It's just caves. I also remembered to get myself a nice mug of tea. A horde of goblins has appeared. Uh, let's go kill some goblins. Uh, RPG battle. Orbit disengaged. Next world is here. Solar engines engaged. Then there, then we find the missing world. It is just morning, so let's catch the day. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Carpe diem. Grab the day capture these planets always fool me I see all the rectangles on the horizon I think ooh temple no ooh temple no Hey, there's a cave. There's a couple of caves right here. 
So that's three caves total, no temple. The, the interesting thing is if I go halfway between here and the um, meeting up with this on the other side, I am literally on the opposite pole of the planet. But that exact location is the same coordinates if I go this way and I go halfway around. So I have seen what's on the other side of the planet in that direction by going in that direction. So the only reason why I do the second loop this way is if I don't see any caves along the way. Because I can pretty much see far enough on either side to know if there's a temple. I usually only go around if I, I, I'm i convinced there's something else to do, uh, and I just haven't found it yet. That's the reason. I do think that it's neat that the Orbit disengaged. terrain wraps around. Pretty cool. What is... Where is that last planet? Is that it? Now that's a, an asteroid. And... That's an asteroid. Where is... There it is. Solar engines engaged. Yep, that filled it in. And Ice Q has appeared into a Orbit. shed. RP or er, RPG. Uh Pokey Catch. It's a penguin with an ice cube on its head. Maybe it's these Pokemon games that made me have the weird dream about strange animals on the person's porch. The yellow sky planets are so neat. To me, it's the yellow sky really makes it just alien. I'm gonna say that there's probably not gonna be a cave on this world because the terrain is pretty flat throughout. There might be something on the other side of some of these hills. This is why I go around the other direction. See if I can find maybe a cave. Ah, see, there's a cave right there. But there's definitely no temple. And I don't need anything from the caves, at least right now. I used to go into, on every planet I would go into at least one cave so I could get a a sample of the world for my collection but I I want to spend less time orbit disengaged all right so I have Which one of these have I missed? I think it's this one. Solar engines engaged. Yeah. It is daytime. Also, congratulations, Cuddles. Proceed to hangar bay. On catching the pingu. Oh, this one's flat, too. 
this one's really flat. I think I see a possible cave over there. Either that or it's just... Yeah, it's a trick of the light. Oh, yeah. I can already see the ship. But there's a cave. Let's get it on the compass. And then get off this rock. What a way to start the stream, though. Just a few minutes in and a brief connection snafu that was that was uh, lovely all right where am I going next uh, planet number one bit disengaged Solar engines engaged. Ah. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Should you do Star Trek or more Fallout? Well, I'm biased towards both, so yes. But if, if I'm forced to pick one or the other, I would say mix things up. If you have just done some Fallout, then do some Star Trek. There's some angry life on this planet. Very upsetting. Still chasing me. There's life. Yep, yeah, still coming. There's life. There's a cave. No temple. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I would say Star Trek. If you were just doing Fallout, Star Trek next. That's the last planet in this star. Let's go find another star. How many stars are in this sector? Orbit disengaged. I found four. There are a total of six. I've been to that one. A horde of slimes has appeared. Aha! Well, first off, before I go flying, let's go RPG battle. Okay. RPG battle with an E at the end. There we go. Spell it right. And then travel. Warp engines engaged. It doesn't like it when I tab out while it's doing this. That breaks it. Star system successfully approached. I did not go and RPG meteorite. But I did RPG Raid Forest here. Where's the last planet? Or there's the last star in the sector. Okay, let's go slowly. There we are. Orbit. That's Solar a free scan. Engaged. Ooh, this is a cold planet. OK. 
Okay, let's... Oh! When I'm in star mode, it, it actually updates the star. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. I thought I had to go back to the sector in order to update the new star. Nice. Well, we've got hills. Oh, you know what I forgot to do on that planet? Forgot to label it as life. That's okay. Drink some of this here tea. Discord page. I have not gone to the disco page. Disco. Discord page for it. I need to. So, no caves. No caves, no chests, no life, no meteors. Nothing. this as a nothing planet. Orbit disengaged. L nothing? Nothing. Opposite direction. Go to this world. Solar engines Let's keep engaged. the momentum going. Daytime, cold planet, so it won't be for the Orbit achievement. Established. Proceed to hangar bay. I see evidence of a dead civilization on this rock. I'll take that. I'll take this. I'll take that. There's a cave over here. And there's the temple. No tornado this time. Very weird. Oh, look, there's my ship. My shuttle. All right, what flavor are you? Echnexium. Okay, let's see what the artifact is. We have ancient blaster again. 
on. And back to the shuttle. Okay, I will label this as Echnexium. Adic ac key to do. Orbit disengaged. So I go this way. And then that Solar one and then that engaged. one. Daytime, cold world. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Ooh. Well, first, let's just look around. Throw out follows like candy. Hey! Hey, it's a lunar tone. A pokey catch. Yeah, the only downside is honestly the only time that I'm on Twitch is when I'm streaming, and so it's. I mean, I will gladly follow people, but. I spend so much time doing so many things. Like I've I've got a huge backlog of videos I still need to finish watching. It's caves at least. All right. So it's a something planet. Now on the other on the flip side of that, I'm I'm always open to finding new people on Twitch to uh, watch when I do watch and also to raid to. Orbit disengaged. So if you have any for me Solar brand friendly engaged. people to to go raid to, I'll happily follow them. Oh, there is a horde of wyverns. R R P G battle. Orbit disengaged. Wait, did I just arrive here and leave again? Solar engines engaged. That was silly of me. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Oh, I hear tornadoes. Does that mean there's a temple? Not always. But there it is! What do you know? Acnexium Temple, got it. He hello? We 
have the Ancient Blaster again. What's this tablet say? We have Behold and Power. What's... There's Behold, Empire, and Behold Power. I have this one. So, put you back in here. shafts huh so you probably need to make arrow shafts also so this planet is 1055 five. wait no orbit disengaged it's 1052 1052 and call this key to do and then this planet here solar engines engaged Daytime, cold planet. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Ha! Huh. Would you look at that? A temple. Take that. That's a health kit. Don't need... Take both of these. We have an emerald key. That's pretty rare. For this galaxy so far. Oh, well, there's life in this temple I, I'm, I'm hesitant that did nothing we have ancient hyperdrive. Take all. Let's just get out of here. Those and escape. I have those and escape. So let's just drop. The, well, I mean, I can just put this in the next container I find. This was an emerald one. Orbit disengaged. And this is ten five four. 
least I'm finding some temples. Now I need to find the last star in this sector uh, by wildly flailing around so that my cursor allows me to reveal the whole sky. There we go. Warp engines engaged. Star system successfully approached. Let's just offload this. And that. All of these get put in storage. Unload. Place item. There we go. It occurs to me I could have been getting shot at this whole time. Scan you. Scan you. And orbit you. Solar engines engaged. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. Daytime cold planet. That took a second to load. I don't see any obvious caves from here. There's a cave. Let's get it on the compass. I know there's no temples. I just seen one. Then let's go do the last two stars in this, or the last two planets in this system, which are also the last two planets in this sector. Engaged. Comfy Solar planet. Solar engines engaged. So it's not hot. There's a horde of goblins. Let's go fight. Them. Uh, RPG battle. Also, RPG make stone or no. Arrow shaft ten? No, it's RPG make ten arrow shaft. And then RPG make one hundred stone. Arrow? So that means I need 77. So RPG make 77 stone arrow. Oh, oh, okay. So it's limited by the feathers that I have. So that would be uh, RPG make 
59 stone arrow. Sweet. I have some stone arrows. Okay. Warning. It's daytime. Planet contains hazards. Proceed with caution. There's hazards. Well, it's not hot. It's probably volcanic geysers or life. Maybe it's dangerous life. Are you dangerous? You aren't acting dangerous. Huh. This whole planet is flat. There's not going to be caves, even if I go the other direction. But there is life. Star, sector, star. Orbit disengaged. And go. Boo, boo, boo. Life. And there is a wild eggs. Exeg. Execute? Okay. Pokey catch. Execute. Ah! Engines engaged. We have a hot planet. Warning. Planet contains hazards. Hot. Proceed with caution. Hot planet. And hazards. Maybe there's life. Maybe there's dangerous life that's going to radiate at me. There's a cave. Another cave. I've not seen any life yet. the execute oh I'm glad it went the other direction we have a diamond key Flex suit. Wow, it's still daytime, or it's just really bright on these worlds. Diamond Key Temple. Ten six one. Orbit disengaged. Now, let's just make double sure 
That's six stars. That says six stars. The number of planets almost never matches, but the number of stars is usually correct. All right, anything in that sector found yet? No. Let's go to that sector. We have four, five stars, it looks like. What's down here? Four planets. Four planets. Four planets. Or seven planets, I mean. Two. And seven. All right. Now, before I do that, I did want to... Make a note that this is a hot world. There we go. Oh, also star sector, click, exit. Let's go up here. Warp go through these five engaged. stars. No UFOs. Nope, there is one. And it's a zippy boy. Star system successfully approached. Scan that. Scan that. Scan that that and that where's the UFO I'll be hi there That made it very difficult to see. That was weird. Let's see if these people were also driven mad by living on a haunted ship. And that's what drove them to attack me. I swear the sound of the ventilation in this place so closely matches the sound of uh, let's see, the ambient atmosphere in one of the 087 games that I have. It makes me want to play it every time I hear it. Ah! Hello. 
out that way so this is the next route Rocket launcher for you, buddy. That was definitely worth spending a couple extra bullets on. Armor is full again. in. That's the ship done. All right. Not a whole lot going on. Okay. Let's start the planets off. Solar engines engaged. Let's first offload stuff. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Place all the things that'll fit. It is daytime. It is a cold planet. So I'm looking for a temple. Well, there's a cave. There's four caves. Well, yeah. One, two, three, four.
one. There's two. The most caves I've found on a planet has been five. Four. There we go. No temples. Is that a cave there? No. But there is a chest with a PDA. The PDAs are something I'm going to be doing after I finish exploring everything. Uh, and what they entail. There we go, five caves. What they entail is. Uh, they, they give coordinates to uh, some other planet and somewhere uh, I guess it's in that star system uh, it will once you read the PDA it will generate a treasure it doesn't generate until you read it I, I learned this because I had just, just been Orbit to a planet, disengaged. and there was no chest right next to my ship, and then I went somewhere else in another system and went right back. Uh, yeah, I guess this is the next planet. I went right back. And Solar engines right engaged. next to where I landed was the chest. And it, it would have been plainly obvious to me. Alright, daytime. A cloister. Pokey catch. Catch. Ah, delicious tea. All right, it's one of these rectangular rock planets that always fools me. Well, there's a cave. So when the arrow flips to the top of my compass right here, this is basically the exact opposite pole from the ship. So if I were to go that direction in a straight line, I would end up right back here. I wouldn't intersect with the ship. But if I go up to the ship and I go in that same direction, I would go all the way around, end up at the ship. The world wraps around in both directions. It's a big square map. It's it's supposed to be on a planet, but it's all flat. Stars. Planets. I did. Orbit this disengaged. One. So the second from furthest out. are you? I bet it's behind the star. Either that or it's a teeny tiny little guy. Well. Let's just go... Orbit 
board this one and continue Solar exploring. Engines engaged. Cold. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. It's evening. Or afternoon or whatever. Don't see anything. There's a cave. And there's no temple. Next planet, please. It also doesn't like it when I change while I'm on that screen. Orbit disengaged. Solar engines engaged. Oh, I need to equip those stone arrows that I made. RPG equip stone arrow. Equip their tier zero stone arrow into their archery after. Okay. We have a cold planet. That's a gas giant. Orbit disengaged. I don't even need to visit. I just realized it's a gas giant. Let's go to that one. Solar engines engaged. Oh, there's another planet right there. Daytime. Comfy temperature. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. Right around 300 Kelvin is comfy for people. The voice of the ship didn't tell me that there were dangers. There's a cave. It's too misty for me to know if there's a temple though. So I do have to go the other direction. Rocks. Oh. Hungry life. Thought I saw a chest. Okay. So there's life. Disengaged. Uh, what's that 
one that I need to go to. Yes. Solar engines engaged. And then I need to figure out where that missing planet is. It's daytime, it is cold. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. I see life. Big, fluffy, and probably angry. I need to mark that last planet as having life on it, also. Cave revealed. Let's go this way. Alien scales. There's a cave. And back to the ship. This has life. Orbit disengaged. And this has life. Oh, and it is alarm o'clock. There we go. Don't think I need to worry about the cats. If they need something, they'll tell me. I'm sure. All right, let's find this missing planet. What? It's on the second from the furthest orbit. It's got to be one of those little micro planets. It has to be. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I saw something. Right? Here you are. Solar engines engaged. It is a micro planet. You're sneaky. A horde of sirens has appeared. RPG battle. It's nearly night time. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Let's shift the clock a little bit. Yeah. It's morning. So when you sleep, it it advances time forward 270 degrees. Not quite a whole circle. But by going forward 270, it's the same as basically going backward 90. So if it's 
if it if you go to bed at 180 degrees, you wake up at 90 degrees. And if that's confusing, it's because the time is told in degrees and not hours, minutes, seconds. Oh, there's a down UFO. A down UFO, a cave. But no temple. All right. Next star. Making some good progress. Orbit disengaged. All right. I believe. that I went to the furthest planet upward. So there shouldn't be anything else above my head, like for the furthest star upward. Warp engines engaged. Oh, there's a Woobat. A Woobat in Twitch chat. Star system successfully approached. Pokey catch. Scan this. And orbit this cold planet. Solar engines engaged. Daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Cave. Probably not a temple. Yep, no, no temple. Disengaged. And this planet. Solar engine also engaged. cold. Daytime. Let's boogity boogity. Orbit established. Proceed to hang. Couple caves. Let's get them on the compass and then let's just go this way. Go around the planet once. Oh, another cave. There was another cave over here. Four caves. Four caves, no temple. All 
Alrighty. Next star. And no one caught the Woobat. Maybe if I'm holding stuff I don't need to be holding. Yes. There's a star over there. Orbit disengaged. Now I should have visited both of these planets. Hello, are you? Where's your magic pixel? Yeah, okay. Let's go down here. Four planets. Warp engines engaged. Star system successfully approached. Scan one. Two. Four and three is going to be another itty bitty one, I bet. Uh. Oh, there it is. Orbit. Solar engines engaged. All right, we've got a cold planet. Let's go ahead and. I like the star. It is daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Let's see if there's a temple. Well, there's hills, so there's probably a cave. Let's go check the other side of the world. A horde of fungi have appeared. I should have some fungi spray. RPG battle. Nice. It doesn't tell me how many fungi spray I used. There's a cave. I see no evidence of a temple. Or ruins of any kind. Next planet. Disengaged. You. Solar engines engaged. A comfy volcanic planet during the day. Warning. Planet contains hazards. Proceed with the to the texture, but this planet feels like I'm moving slower. We have a cave. But 
there are no temples. Let's get back to the ship and move on. Ah! Database corrupted! And see, this is why I want to make sure that if I'm going to provide a 20 minute video, I, I have an opportunity to not have this stuff in it. Because usually, let's see, save game. I don't know why I'm bothering backing out. Exit. Usually, if someone's going to play this game, most people don't stick to a game for more than about an hour, especially a game like this. So they're not likely to encounter the error. Warning, ship has entered gravity well. Oh. Ah. Uh. Warning, ah. ship has entered gravity well. Orbit. Solar engines engaged. Well, that was exciting. Huh. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Daytime. The correct planet. Totally not anxious about almost crashing. All good. Green sky. Creepy green light. Very bright. The terrain is sort of hilly, especially like over here. So there might be a cave. Ah, there's a cave. No temples. Yeah. Oh, and this is an itty bitty planet. Bit disengaged. I think I need to go to the that one next. Yep. Let's fly a little bit further over here. Also cold. Solar engines engaged. Now, if I were singly focused on just getting the achievement, I would go to a star. I'd scan all the planets. If there were hot planets, I'd visit them. And if not, then I would move on to the next star. And I would just go sector to sector that way. But. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. But I'm also hoping to find the missing alien artifacts artifact or artifacts that's just a spike all right let's go looking
So far, no caves. No temples. Ah. Uh. Let's go look for a cave this direction. Ah, caught me while I was drinking some tea. <coughs> we have a chest. And that's a sonic cannon, that's an air tank. There's a cave. All right. Cave, no temple. Next. Actually, next is the next star. Bit disengaged. A shop bit has appeared in Twitch chat. Pokey catch. Also, let's try wo Wopey catch. Uh, Pokemon community game. I did not catch it. Huh. Seven on that one and four on this one. Let's do the four. Warp engines engaged. Star system successfully approached. One. Three is a gas giant. Four and two. None of them are hot. Solar and two volcanic engaged. worlds in one star, though. That's kind of neat. A horde of goblins. RPG battle. No one caught the shepherd. Warning. Planet contains hazards. Proceed with caution. Wait, what is that? Okay. I thought I saw a new alert. Ooh, toasty. It's a good thing this armor has obsidian shield. Which, that's a reference to the custom enchants plugin for Minecraft. Allows you to go casually strolling through lava with no issue. This is this is a totally flat world. There's no caves. It would be a waste of time. I have more planets to go scratch off the list. Orbit disengaged. Uh, this one. Solar engines engaged. And daytime. Thirty six. That's really close to morning. Warning. Planet contains. No, not warning. Morning.
Well, there's two caves right there in the lava. And... I guess I'll go see the other side of the world, just in case there's a temple. Bless those ancient aliens for discovering how to repel lava. Orbit disengaged. Solar engines engaged. And last planet in the system. Not counting the gas giant. Daytime. Cold planet. Looking for a temple. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. First, let's just go looking around. There's a cave over here. Let's put it on the compass. Okay, got it. No, I didn't. Now I got it. The entire circle has to show up on your screen for it to remain. Okay, let's go check the other side of the world for a temple. I doubt that there is one. Next star. How many stars are in this system? Or in the sector? Five. Orbit disengaged. So I'm looking for the final star in the sector. And I went all over the place, so I don't remember where that last star is going to be. Found it. Seven planets. Warp engines engaged. Not even two hours in, and we're almost through a whole Star sector. System successfully approached. All right, scan number one. Scan number seven. Scan number four. Two, three, five, and six. Aha! Five. Two. Wait, where, where's planet number three? Not there. What? Wait. 
Well, let's find number six. Scan that planet. So this is orbit number one. This is orbit number two, and this is orbit number three. I'll go little sections at a time and see if I can find... Aha! There's a tiny little blip. Solar engines engaged. <sighs> it is basically midnight. Well, uh, sunset. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Let's advance time by 270 degrees, so it's midday. Ha, huh, no caves. Well, wait, no. That's a rock. Okay. There's a cave. But no temple. And there's another cave. Funny thing about that database corruption error is I was just about to say, you know, I don't usually get the error too much if I don't go into caves all that often. Orbit disengaged. And then I would have opened my mouth and stuck my foot in. Solar engines engaged. Orbit established. Ooh, there's a horde of bandits. Come on, planet. RPG battle. This looks like it's going to be... Oh, wait, there's a temple. I was about to say, this looks like it's going to be a flat world, or at least a... Never mind. I just fell into a cave. Oh look, it's an emerald cave. How nice. Alright, let's try this again without the oops. We have a diamond cave. Unload that. Unload that. These are so low in value, it's not even worth carrying. Even this rocket launcher is low value. Okay. Wait. What? Diamond. Okay, let's see what's in here. Prove me right. Show me that I have not imagined that I got the extra backpack from one of these and not from the, the city, or not the extra backpack, the uh, extra jetpack. Alright, 
Well, diamond key at least. This is two, five, four. Orbit disengaged. Uh, I'm on this one. Diamond the key to do. I go to here. A machoke or machoke or whatever it is. A m Pokemon has appeared in Twitch chat. I do not own a Pokeball. I thought I bought enough. Boo ba doo boo. -ba -do -ba. Let's come over here. Let's go shop. Let's go Pokeball. Purchase 20. Can, can I just purchase 50? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and purchase 50. Continue. Purchase. And then come back over here and go Pokey catch. Huzzah! Alright. Go here. Solar engines engaged. Oh. I thought I was going to that one. Oops. But as long as I'm still going to an unvisited one. It is day, it is cold, it is evening. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bed. But let's just go ahead and check out the planet. Look at that sun setting. Alright, let's... Get the cave on the radar. There's no temples. There's three caves, one, two, and there's a third one over here. It got dark fast. The joy of no atmosphere. All right, let's go. Congratulations on catching the Pokemon cuddles. All right. With respect to where I am now. Orbit disengaged. So if I go and look over that direction. There it is. Solar engines engaged. And then from this I would go to planet number one then two, and then seven. Mm. 
It's daytime. It is cold. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Yeah, when I'm on my ship, it says temperature is 300. That, that's right in the happy range. Survivable with some moderate protection is anywhere from 200 to 400. And then anything outside that needs to have sci-fi mumbo jumbo. I see a cave. No temples, another cave. Is that a chest? It sure is. With something valuable in it. Okay. Ouch. Bit disengaged. Go to that planet there. Solar Drink some engines tea. engaged. <sighs> Another cold rock. Daytime. Look for a temple. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. I'm going to say that this is probably a nothing planet. It is hilliest over this direction. Oh, there's a horde of boars. RPG battle. See a couple of caves. And another cave. Low ish gravity. Planet number two. Orbit disengaged. So Volcanic fog. Engaged. It's a comfy planet, if a little chilly. Daytime. Warning. Planet contains hazard. Ooh, cave. I don't see evidence of a temple, but let's go check the other pole. I'm glad I figured out how to turn the the sound of the lightning, well, the sound of the thunder, rather, down. It used to be unbearably loud. Yeah, 
there's no temple here. Orbit disengaged. And uh, number seven. Solar engines engaged. Very cold planet. Daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. There's a cave. And another one. This, is, this has been a very weird star system. Nothing to make any notes about. Planets have caves, no life, no temples. Let's just make sure. I've been to everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Orbit disengaged. Five stars found. Five stars total. Yeah. Now, before we go on to the next sector, I do want to offload my junk. <laughs> Warp engines engaged. At least I don't have to get worried to uh, get worry about getting blown up by UFOs while I am coming to visit the mothership. Mothership successfully approached. Take this. Place that where it was. I guess I can just take that. to the ship and sell the rest of the garbage. And I went ahead and made sure that I took care of all of the existing pending quests from all the NPCs on here. So I don't need to do that anymore. All I have to do is worry about the vendors. So 
sell. Sell. Sell and sell. Now just bring the tablet with me. Now we get to figure out what sector we're going to next. Orbit disengaged. I just did that sector. What about this one? I have not done that sector yet. I have done this. I have done that. I have done that. And I've done that. So that's the one I need to go to. And Amora has appeared in Twitch chat. Pokey catch. Where's the sector? Let's get away from the ship here. We have looks like six planets, seven that one. Seven. Oh, I did not want to press that button. Warp engines engaged. Star system successfully approached. Oh. Solar engines engaged. Let's scan and then scan and then that one's already in the database. Okay. Solar engines engaged. Cold planet. Hey, I caught the Amora. Wonder what it is. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. My guess is it's something to do with like hearts and love and that sort of thing because it says um, Amor, which is you know French word for love. And Italian, amore. A little blue dino with yellow antlers. Aww. I'm going to just uh, make a, a guess that there's no temple on this planet. There's no ruins. I found caves. I have been to the other side of the world. Yeah, I'm, I'm now wrapped around. Yeah, there's no temple. Oh, I missed the fire giants. Oops. Oh wait, no, 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 I, I didn't want to fight the fire, fire giants because I don't have a bucket of water. I need to figure out how to get a bucket and how to fill it with water. I like to imagine that what you do is you find a fire giant, you go put the bucket down, you stand in it with your feet, and you fight the fire giant, and the whole time you're just Orbit snuffing the fire. 
That's what I like to think. Solar engines engaged. Also a very cold planet. So, temple only. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Oh, need a house to, to do the bucket of water. I see. If that was explained, it must have zipped past my attention in chat. Apologies. Disengaged. And this one. Solar engines engaged. Hello, Zach. How are you? Cold planet. Oh. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Busy at home. Yeah, I know those vibes. These last couple weekends for me have been just busy, busy, busy. There's another cave over there, but I don't need to get it on my radar. One is adequate for my taste. Yeah, there is no temple, and this is a tiny world. Oh. We have the lens flare. Whoa. Yeah, with spring coming, I need to make sure that... Uh, Things are done and ready around the house and all that. Orbit disengaged. Okay. Uh. Hello, stars. Ah, they're all up here. We will go to this one with eight planets. Warp engines engaged. It's a brown dwarf. So it's probably all cold. That's a slow moving UFO. Star system successfully approached. And that's a fast moving UFO. What? Let's just scan these planets. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Six. Uh, eight. 
Solar engines engaged. Ooh, very cold planet. Almost absolute zero. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Oh, there's a temple. No atmosphere on this planet. Here's the chest. I will put, well, I'll put that inside. We have an emerald key. Still no ruby keys. <coughs> yeah, I didn't trust you. <coughs> we have the flex suit. <coughs> Emerald Key. Let's go here. Let's go planet. Orbit disengaged. Let's go M key to do and that is 30 to 8 30 to 8 a horde of flying fire wizards RPG battle hey at least I didn't need a bucket Go to this one. Solar engines engaged. Also very cold, also daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. There's a temple right off the bat. Sapphire. That is a chest. It's two chests. Holy smokes. I'll take that, and I'll take that. Is there another chest over here? This was a what key? Sapphire. I 
I am very glad you don't have to keep remaking the key every time. A bit high. Okay. We have ancient hyperdrive. Place that. Take all and then place that again. Up and out. So 30, 2, and 7. 30, 2, Orbit disengaged. Seven. That's a gas giant. Solar engines engaged. The Zoomy boys on the other side of the star. Daytime. Let's offload. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. There we go. A little bit of inventory management. A wild buizel. Pokey catch. Another temple, would you look at that? Oh, I forgot to label that previous planet. It was a sapphire. And this is a diamond. Take, unload, place. Sapphire diamond. Lex suit. Behold and power. Behold and power. Looks like I just missed the buizel. Oh, hello. Orbit disengaged. How dare you? These ships tend to cost more than they earn when I board them, so you know what? There. Okay. This was 32. And four. And this was diamond key to do. And this was 
Oops. Sapphire key to do. And that was a gas giant. So now I go over here, I think. No, this is the one I was just on. I go here. Solar engines engaged. Oh. I should have gone there. Oops. I'll go there, there, and there. Comfy. Warning. Planet contains hazards. Proceed with caution. It is now middle of the day. Oh. Sort of an earth like sky. We have a cave. And lots of hot sauce. And no temple. So this is the last of the revealed sectors that I have at least flown through. Orbit disengaged. And after I'm done with it, let's see here. No, oh, I hit M. Oh, Horde of Sirens. RPG battle. After I'm done with it, it will be up to just picking a direction and going. Uh, I am there, so I go that way. Oh, you're a gas giant. What happened? Why why are you not showing me the planets anymore? Did the database corrupt? I'm thinking the database corrupted. Sector, star, select the star, planets. Yep, I'm gonna guess that the database corrupted. Let's just nip it in the bud. Save, exit, relaunch. Let's go check on the cats just in case. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Cats have a little bit more food. And in we go. Turn on the orbits, turn off the info. Let's see if the planets have shown back up. Oh, look, here they are now. So I want to go to planet number three. Solar engines engaged. <sighs> it is daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Oh, it's rectangle rocks. I thought there was yet another bamboozled. Let's look for a cave just to see if this is a nothing planet. Beacon on. So I know where I'm looking. There's a cave. All right. Hey, I know I've not seen that Pokemon before. Pokey Catch. Bit disengaged. So now I go to number four and then to number one. Oh no, number one's right there. Eh. No matter. Oh, you're a gas giant anyway. No, that's number five. Solar engines engaged. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. That's a gas giant. And that's a gas giant. So I do go to number one. Oh, well then. Bye bye, planet. We've been here before. Hey, we all caught the. whatever that's called. Orbit disengaged. And we have a volcanic planet. Comfy. Solar engines engaged. It's a comfy planet. Ah. <clears throat> Last of today's tea. Daytime. Warning. Planet contains hazards. Proceed with caution. There's some caves, three caves, at least. Might as well get all three of them on the compass. There we go. And then see what's on the other side of the world. Another cave. Certainly no temples. And another cave. Five caves. So look at that. Five caves. Oh, and a chest. Sonic cannon.
Oh. It dropped down to below 2,000 kilobits per second there for a little bit. I was afraid it was going to uh, derp out. Orbit disengaged. All right. Ah, hello. Friendly. Okay, let's go here. Four planets. Warp engines engaged. Not friendly. Star system successfully approached. I'll be back around in just a few minutes. Where'd they go? That's a gas giant. Oh, hello! can stay there. Solar wait, 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 wait. No, not orbit, not orbit, not orbit. I just meant to scan, please and thank you. Oh, I already scanned. Right. When I go for it, I scan it. <sighs> Solar engines engaged. We are on another star. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. It is eh, moderately daytime. It is a cold world. So cold that the atmosphere is snowing itself. Hey, there's a cave. And there's another one over there. But no temples. One of these is the non gas giant. Orbit disengaged. It would be that one. On the entire opposite side of the star. So. Oh, wait, no, that one's also not a gas giant. Solar engines engaged. It's just the one gas giant. Why did I think there were two in this system? Weird. All right. Orbit established. Daytime, Proceed cold planet, looking for a temple. Yeah. 
you. Oh, and it's storming. Uh, well, we've got ruins. Question is, is there a temple? Chest and diamond key. So diamond key, life. And this is the blaster. Orbit disengaged. A horde of flying harpies has appeared. RPG battle. And now I go to this planet. Solar engines engaged. I have defeated one Harpies. Daytime Cold World. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. Uh, a rather flat planet. But there is a cave. Oh yeah, let's whoopee catch. Catch. Um, let's go with another little cuddles. I got a forty eight. Oh, and you threw rock, paper, scissors. I'll, I'll throw one when I get back to the ship. You threw Spock. Do 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 do. RPS. I also threw a Spock. Oh, this is the uh, alternate universe. There's two Spocks. Orbit disengaged.
Four planets over there. Warp engines engaged. Oh. I forgot. Star system successfully approached. Which one of these was it? It was this one that had it. So that's 30, 3, and 1. 30, 3, 1. Alright. Now, I'm on another star. Up here. And I have not yet scanned any planets. Scan number 3. Scan number one. <clears throat> scan number two. And scan number four, orbit number four. Solar engines engaged. A helioptile has appeared in Twitch chat. Pokey catch. Daytime, cold. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Not looking too hopeful. But let's look. We have a cave, which is not a temple. Yeah. Oops. Congratulations, Cuddles. I'm gonna guess that the Helioptile is a flying lizard like a dragon or a wyvern or something like that. Orbit if if I had to figure out what it was based on the name. Solar engines engaged. Cold planet, daytime. Let's go. Orbit established. Proceed to. Oh. It's a gooey planet. It's like the long eared bunny. Yellow planet. Axiom. So we've got ruins on this planet. Where there's ruins, often, but not always, often, there's also a temple. I think I saw life. <laughs> More ruins? Ah, we have a temple. Acnexium key, all right.
Ancient oxygenator take all. Yeah, that's why I explore on these uh, vapor planets because I was that close to it and I couldn't even see it. So, Echnexium. I am on 34-2. 34-2. Orbit disengaged. Solar engines engaged. Let's go offload. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Time. Daytime. Comfy planet. Temple in a tornado. It's an Acnexium temple. Oh, I forgot to label that last planet. Both of these are Acnexium. Okay, take all. Read, witness, and stopped. This is the first one I tallied. This one is Behold and Power. So I have both of these. So place and place. Thirty-four and one. Orbit disengaged. Ack. Oh. Key to do. And this is the methane vapor. Ack. Key to do. And that was the oxygen planet. Okay. Oh, I missed a weird... You need golden conductor shell. Oh my. What on earth is a golden conductor shell? A horde of Appertonantis. Weird, weird, weird. All right, this star is done. Let's go play at that star. Five planets. Warp engines engaged. This might have a warm planet on it. It's a red giant. Red giants tend to be fairly toasty. Star system successfully approached. 
We have a cold planet, a comfy planet, a com or a cold planet, and a cold-ish planet. Ammonia vapor. All right, let's go. Sector star. Select planet. Warning: and exit. Planet contains hazards. Proceed with caution. Well, there's a cave. Can't speak to whether there's a temple or not yet. like that's a oh, that's probably a no on the temple but I have to look Okay, so just the cave. Where is the next planet to go to? Out there. Orbit disengaged. Right there. Engaged. I had only scanned four of the five planets. Oops, oops. Oh, this one can be hot. Oh, I'm hopeful. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. It is hot. Well, let's see if we can find some radiation. Found a cave. Now, sometimes there's stuff like, like life in caves when there is not life on the surface. And sometimes that life has radiation. But inside the caves, it's much more comfortable temperature. Hmm. Let's go this way. More 
cave action. Oh, there's a chest. Nothing I need. No evidence of any life. Now, the only time I've ever found radiated life is those little things that look like tentacly whippy things that are just like planted in the ground almost. A vanillite has appeared in Twitch chat. Pokey catch. Why does that look like a different icon? There's there's a weird Demon ate dragon egg. Is it a special? Oh, it's the event. Orbit disengaged. Solar engines engaged. Well, I'm just going to stick with my regular Pokeballs. No point in grabbing more. If it if it gets caught, it gets caught. It is daytime. It is cold. Orbit established. A Proceed horde of skeletons orbit. has appeared. Here we go. RPG battle. Don't see anything that looks like a cave yet. Hey, I got 10 stone arrows out of that. Nice. Oh, we have a cave. got off centered apparently. No temples. No, that's not a chest. That's just a pile of rocks. engaged this Solar one engines and then engaged. the one that's off that direction daytime let's find a temple orbit established proceed to hang around. There's a cave. There's life. A whole lot of very upsetting life.
haven't seen any ruins. Like me. Yeah, no temple, just life. Label it. Orbit disengaged. And you. Solar engines engaged. Daytime, let's go. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. I see no evidence of ruins, but that doesn't mean there are none. That's a cave. Get that on my radar. Yeah, no temple. I believe that's this star complete. Next star, please. Orbit disengaged. One. Let's do the one. Warp engines engaged. Star system successfully approached. Solar engines engaged. Of course, it's a cold world. Daytime, let's check it out. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. Well, there's a cave. Let's check for a temple past the cave. another cave. And I can see the ship from here. So if there's a temple, it would have been there. If it had been obscured. Yeah. No temple. Next star, please.
Let's see here. That is Orbit disengaged. The sixth star in this sector, and there are a total of seven. So I only need to find one more star. Oops. And I believe it was upward from this. But I think I've gotten turned around. Here we go. What White dwarf. Engaged? Eight planets. Probably all of them are cold. And we've got a UFO. Star system successfully approached. engines engaged. Orbit disengaged. I'd like to know why they keep going Dark. Ah. Warning. Ship has entered gravity well. Solar engines engaged. A horde of slimes has appeared. RPG battle. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. So this is the last star of the second whole sector for today. That's pretty good. And it's still only 11. Huh, I don't see anything. Let's look for a cave, see if it's a nothing planet. There's a cave. And the ship is closest in this direction. I get to scan the rest of the planets, which I did not get to do before I was so rudely interrupted by Mr. Orbit Shooty. Disengaged. feel like that's not all of them. Let's consult the old star chart. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ha, here's one. Yeah. 
here's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Outermost orbit is what I'm missing. Found it. Let's go. Solar engines engage. A Dunsparce RPG battle. Or no, or no, Pokey Catch. Wow. Pokey Catch. I was so eager that I typed in the wrong command. Very cold. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Uh, no, let's look for a cave. Let's see if we mark this as a nothing world. Have a cave, and certainly no temples. Hey, I caught the Dunsparce. What? I wonder what that looks like. I have rotten luck with going over to that during my stream, so I'm just going to find out afterwards. Alright, there's a couple planets here. Orbit disengaged. Go to you. Solar engines engaged. And then that one. Oh, there's the UFO. Daytime. Warning. Planet contains hazard. Proceed. And lava. There's a cave. Let's go look for a temple on the other side of the planet. There's another cave. Don't want to go in. But I could. I could completely spelunk the absolutely 100% submerged cave. There is certainly no temple. Disengaged. Solar engines engaged. And the daytime? Orbit established. Proceed to hangar. Wow, I clicked on it before I was given the okay. Um, no ruin residue. Oh, 
What time is it for me? Hello, sh it is showtime. That's what time it is. Uh, it is 11.08 p.m. for me. I have not yet died to the achievement. Still going. And in the process, I'm hoping to find some other ancient alien gear. Hot planets are supremely rare. Radioactive enemies are also supremely rare. The combination of the two makes for a 0.4% chance to get the achievement. It is rare, rare. Okay. Go over here next. Orbit disengaged. Solar engines engaged. A horde of flying water wizards. RPG battle. Hey, I got five buckets of water. Would you look at that? Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. You got a water bucket. Look at you go. Uh it's not looking very temply to me. Oh, on that infinite craft game. I finally got Fred Flintstone. I was beginning to think that uh, it was one of the oversights, but no, I managed to get Fred Flintstone. So now that I've got Fred Flintstone, I just need to throw things at it until I get, you know, Barney Rubble and Wilma and, well, I guess I have Dino and the word dino, and I guess that's close enough to Orbit Dino that it, it would be counted as the same thing. That's my guess. I think I need to go to those two. Let's check. Yeah. Oh, I need to go to this one first. Where is this one? Oh, I see it. Solar engines engaged. But yeah, we, we took out some water wizards and got some water buckets. That's awesome. It's daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay.
there's some cave action over there. That is not a temple. That's a cave. Let's go check the other pole. Oh, this is a dinky little world. Yeah, there's there's no there's no temples. Orbit disengaged. Solar engines engaged. Huh. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Interesting. I was looking at the reflection of the console. Never paid much attention to it. It wraps around in an interesting way. Could there be a temple? Might there even be a cave? Okay, there is a cave, but there's no temple. Last planet in this sector. Let's go. Orbit disengaged. Solar engines engaged. I think there's only been two hot planets in this whole sector. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. life it's the big fluffy life oh my goodness it gronked at me. There it went again. There's life. I have not found a cave. I'm going to go this direction. Let's see if I can find it. Cave. Did you see that disappear? cave and since that's cave I'm gonna go ahead and leave the planet
For a sec, you thought you heard my name? But what, like, from the planet or, you know, in your house? Pokey, catch the Litwick. Orbit disengaged. All right, well, that is the last planet in this sector. So now what I have to do is try to aim for a sector I've not been to. Yeah. So, there's three sectors down here that I need to go to, and then there's six up there, seven up there. So I'll do these three first, and then I'll finish up that way. Usually, the one with the city is one of the planets up in this direction, or one of the sectors up in that direction. So what I need to do is I need to aim at the mothership and then face away from it. Or, I'm in sector 30, that's sector 1-1, one, one, so I could go, I could look for a star that is in sector 3-1. That might be simpler. But, ah, there is the mothership. And so it would be something over here. Sector 3-1, let's go. Five planets. Warp engines engaged. And once I enter the sector, I can select it and get some more information. Star system successfully approached. Scan you. Scan you. Scan you. Scan you. And I think that's a gas giant. But I still need to scan it. Solar engine okay. engaged. Sector, this one, stars. Planet. Oh, well, first off, there's six stars. Bay. Okay, six stars in this sector. It is daytime, it is cold. A horde of skeletons has appeared. RPG. G battle. Ha. Huh. No ruins. It's harder to tell on these planets with a whole bunch of those crater things. But I don't see any ruins yet. Ooh. I ran right for it. Yeah, there's there's nothing.
Nothing. Orbit disengaged. Oh. Solar engines engaged. Cold planet. Daytime. Tally Ho and Sally Force. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. A cave in a very bright radioactive green sky. It's a shame that the sky color doesn't indicate that it's radioactive. And even if it was, it's a cold planet. A full 21 Kelvin below what I could do without my suit. And no temple. have to kick the heater on. I think it's uh, supposed to get down to 30. Or maybe even a little colder. Alright, so I need to go Orbit uh, disengaged. This way. Solar engines engaged. Cold planet. Daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Well, there's lots of hills. I don't see anything that pops out yet, though. No caves, no temples, no ruins, no life. There's a cave. Get you on my radar. Very low gravity planet. This is one of those ones where I would be able to stay in the air the entire way around if I had that one jetpack or whatever the upgrade is. Hey, there's a cave. Oh, I already found a cave. That's right. Orbit disengaged. I think it's this one next. Solar engines engaged. Yes, and then that one's a gas giant. Cold daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. I hear things walking around. There was a cave. And 
another cave. I haven't seen anything walking around, I only heard it. But well, usually when there's one of these stormy planets, there's life on it. Hey, there we go. Life. That guy is just straight up not having a good time. Or maybe he is having a good time. He's trying to give me a pamphlet for his church. Never know. Can't judge. All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. RPG battle. Horde of boars. All right. That's the last planet in this star. Orbit disengaged. Now, I will label this as life. Okay, well, I was facing a different way, but you know what? Now I'm facing this way. Let's go to that star. And Warp while I'm warping... Engaged. Actually, I need to pay attention when I arrive, just in case I get shot at. Star system successfully approached. So I'll scan and then I'll go turn the heater on over there. There's two planets scanned. And three. Solar engines engaged. Don't even really need to go too far to turn the heater on, thankfully. I have a little space heater thing. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. There we go. That should unfrozify me. What temperature actually is it? Let's see here. It is... It's mid-30s. But it is supposed to get all the way down to freezing tonight and tomorrow night as well. Okay. All right, it is daytime. It is a cold planet. Let's go. There's a cave. So I know it says that my ship is over there. But I do want to get a little bit more of a view of the world. I don't see anything, though. So let's go ahead and get off this rock and go to the next one. So here's my plan. If I go through this entire galaxy and I still can't get the achievement. Ooh, a Pidgey. Uh, Pokey catch. Oh, rock, paper, scissors. There's a scissors in play RPS. 
And there's another scissors in play. Ha ha! Touche! Uh, but if I go through this entire galaxy and I still don't find the uh, correct requirements, then what I will be doing is making another and then just playing until I get the the tools that I need. And then once I get the tools that I need, I will just Orbit disengaged. only be going for planets that are hot. Solar engines engaged. But but for this galaxy, I do want to at least set my feet on every planet Warning. I can. Planet contains hazards. Because I want to get some cautions. I want to get some stats. I want to get some data cuz I have sort of a a tenebrous uh, concept about how things are generated. But before I make any final estimate, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm right before I go asking questions and giving inputs. Hello, that was very close. On the previous computer, I was very close to completing that last galaxy that I was using. Now, I did have the, uh, the special ability to stay in the air for a long time. My jetpack has all of one good sneeze out of it before it's spent. Hey, I caught the Pidgey! I recognize the name Pidgey. Okay, let's go. Orbit here, disengaged. Here, here and select this star and go like this. And I go there. Cold Solar planet. engines engaged. Daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. But for this galaxy, I definitely will be setting foot on every planet. And then after I've, I've run the whole circuit and I've copied down all my notes that I want to take down. I'll go back and revisit uh, some of the uh, hot planets and see if I can wander around enough and maybe find the, uh, the parameters for getting the last achievement. There's nothing on this world. Um, I do... Let's see here. I do want to, for sure, go back to some of the, the nothing planets, of which there are many, and double confirm whether or not they are truly nothing, or if there's just a chest I overlooked or something. Because... I I have a... a numbers game kind of going in my head. No, well, not game. Just, uh, I, I have some numbers going in my head that uh, I want to verify engaged. and then if they're right, I want to pass the observation on to the dev. Star system successfully approached. Scan you. 
scan the little bitty one here. And orbit you. Solar engines engaged. With any luck, I might be able to get three whole sectors done on this stream. That'll be nice. It's it's like a, a little bit more than 20 minutes until midnight. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. But I think it's feasible. I'm a, a few planets in. Or a few stars in, rather. And as long as I don't dally. This is a flat planet. Ah, but I do see a cave. A horde of spiders. RPG. R4 PG? Wow, RPG battle. I can see my ship from here. Yeah, there's no temple on this world. I crashed. Well, the database crashed. That's funny. I was about to say I'm almost due for another database corruption. Do 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 do. do. On the news for this game on March 8th, testing branch updated to pre 6.0 alpha 0.0.9D. Okay. Load game. Boop. And all right. Let's get rid of that. Let's add this. Let's back off. Orbit disengaged. Uh, ba, 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 ba. And I am on a different star. Over here, Oop. and planet, come over here, go to you, let's boogie. Solar engines engaged. Oxygen. Cold planet. Daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Ooh, very flat. All right, well, let's go look. It is 65 Kelvin right now. Very cold. thinking this is a nothing world.
Now I hope that all these database corruptions don't mean that certain of the notes that I've added to some of the planets have become borked. Because that will definitely make it frustrating trying to keep track of what's what. I don't think that's how it works, but it is a concern. All right, there's no temple. Let's go. All right, so I go to orbit disengaged this planet. Solar engines engaged. Volcanic fog. It is comfy in temperature. Warning. Planet contains hazards. Proceed with caution. See no evidence of temples, but let's go look for one on the other side of the planet. Let's go look for caves. There's a cave. Now, here's something that I have observed. I don't believe that any of the planets are exactly small enough to be able to see the other Orbit side disengaged. from any given point. And this is important because if you could see that, then... If you were standing on one opposite pole of your shuttle, then in every direction you would just see this elongated visualization of your shuttle going all the way around the world. And that would be very unfortunate. Okay, so I have visited all the worlds on this star. Um, well, there's a star right there with one planet. Let's go. Warp engines engaged. Star system successfully approached. Orbit. Tolerable volcanic daytime. And this is the only planet in the system. Warning. Planet contains hazards. Alright, let's do the thing. I see a temple. Nexium Temple. A cub chew has appeared in Twitch chat. Let's go ahead and 
pokey catch. We have the hyperdrive again. Boop. And a temple on the only planet in this star system. What do you know? That would be 3141. 3141. Doop, doop, doop. Orbit doop, disengaged. Doop. And boop and uh, what was it? Nexium key to do. A horde of golems has appeared. RPG battle. Let's look for another star. We have eight and five. Let's do the five. Warp engines engaged. It's a neutron star, so probably all these are going to be cold planets. We've got a fast boy. Star system successfully approached. Scan one. Scan four. Scan three. Scan two. Orbit five. Solar engines engaged. Daytime, let's go. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. I bet you that shuttle or that that UFO is gonna turn dark when I need to go to fight it again. Don't know what it is about today, but. They are all seeming to do that. Have a cave. I want a temple. Have another cave. That is still not a temple. We have life. There were structures, I would have seen them by now. Next! I want to see if I can finish this sector tonight. Or at least this star. But I would like to go for the sector. If I can. There's another star there. Five planets in this system. Orbit disengaged. There's eight in that one. Volcanic Solar fog. engines engaged. It only takes a couple minutes on average to do each one. Daytime. Warning. Planet contains hazard. Very flat world. I 
probably only need to go around once to find out everything I need to know about it. This world is so flat there's almost not even any lava. That was a sound. Oh, hello. It's chasing me. It has a friend. Engaged. All right. Boop. Boop. There are six stars. I am on number five. Yeah. So let's go to that planet. Solar engines engaged. That will not come after me while I am going with the solar engines. I am probably going to be safe on the planet. It won't be an issue until I uh, orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Very yellow. All right, let's check. I don't see any evidence of ruins. I also haven't seen a cave. I do want to see if there's a cave. So I'll go this way. Because there's an awful lot of hills for there not to be a cave. Temple, no life. So far, no chests. Yeah. We have a nothing planet. should be getting attacked and there's the green. Orbit disengaged. Okay. You. you were visible. All right. Those two. Solar engines engaged. And that was a nothing planet. Is 
It is daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. I hear life. I see life. Very flat world. How's it going? It's going pretty okay. How are you doing? Once again, showtime. There's a whole herd of those things. cave and I saw no evidence of any ruins yeah. a horde of bandits has appeared let's go and RPG battle RPG make wolf hide boots. RPG equip wolf hide boots. Neat. I'm wearing boots. So I can do it through commands. I just don't know what all of the items are to make. How's the deal with that post string? Orbit disengaged. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Where am I going? It's that one. There. Solar engines engaged. How much longer will stream last? Uh, pro it's uh, it is right now. It is 12:01. I have this planet left on this star system, and then I have eight more planets to bay. on the last star system in this sector. So what I'll probably do is finish off the sector, go offload junk at the mothership and then uh, try to get myself in position for the uh, next stream next week. Uh, so maybe about half hour, 45 minutes-ish. What's that? That's uh, not, that's just rocks. Not a temple. All right. Yeah, I can see my ship there. And right here. Oh, no, right. Okay. Right here is where it does the transition. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so to avoid Seeing the horizon, seeing one point of the horizon all the way around, it's just shorter than the whole horizon. A sandy guest has appeared. Pokey catch.
and RPG craft uh, wolf hide body. Or oh, it says I I did I meant to do make, but crafting works as well. RPG equip wolf hide body. Oh, the next one is called Chaps. All right, last star Orbit in this sector. Engaged. Where are you? Right here. Give me your eight planets. Warp engines engaged. It's a red dwarf. There's a slow UFO. Star system successfully approached. Planet one. Four. Six. Two. I need three, five, seven, and eight. Three, seven, and eight. There's eight. There's seven. Three must be dinky. Ah, oh, there it is. Three. Solar engines engaged. Doop, 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 and click on you and zoom in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. I caught the uh Sandy Guest. Orbit established. Cold Proceed planet to hangar bay. daytime. Let's look for a temple. It fooled me. Got my hopes up. <sighs> we have a cave. Not a temple. Oh, I thought these were animal parts for a second. Like alien scales or something. No temple. So let's go with RPG Harvest. Uh, let's go RPG Plant Wheat Seed. RPG Make Wolf Hide Chaps. RPG equip wolf hide chaps. So I have the body, I have the chaps, I have what was the first one that I made? Boots. Do -do -do. Boots, body, and chaps. I bet there's probably at least gloves and probably a helmet.
Orbit disengaged. Solar engines Big engaged. Big old planet. Comfy, but it's volcanic. Daytime. Warning. Planet contains hazards. Proceed with caution. Sure enough. A bit about high there. So we have a cave. We have Kamikaze Lake. Another cave. Horde of Ents has appeared. RPG battle. So what other body armor is there? Since you're, I see, working on that, um, cuddles. I have the body, I have the boots, I have the chaps. Is there gloves? Is there a helmet? Are there bracers? Uh, oh, what am I doing? Let's do that. What else can I make? Orbit disengaged. Wait, it's this guy, right? There's next. Solar engines engaged. Bracers. Let's see here. Uh, RPG make wolf hide racers. I need eight. I only have one wolf fur. Okay. And now I know. It's daytime, it is cold. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Ooh, flat world. With no structures. No artificial structures. So who's it looking like I ought to be raiding into tonight? Uh, let's go check this direction. This is a nothing planet. Uh, 
Orbit disengaged. Nothing. Orbit you. Solar engines engaged. It is cold, it is day. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. I'm not being told there's any danger. Hmm. The little spiky things always throw me off. There's a cave. Chest. I'll take that. I'll use that. Well, this plant has oxygen. Orbit disengaged. So not the gas giant. Solar engines engaged. Let's get past the gas giant. Orbit disengaged. And orbit this one. Cold daytime. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Oh. There's cave. At first glance, I saw no temples. Not a lot of temples in this sector so far. One. And there's only a couple more planets left. Orbit disengaged. And you? Solar engines engaged. And then that right there is the last planet in this whole sector. Orbit A Golbat Proceed has to appeared in Twitch chat. Pokey Catch. It is daytime, it is cold.
nothing that screams ruins. And I haven't spotted a cave entrance. But that's why we look. RPG battle and I did not catch the goal bat I see a cave ha what are are, are you going to You're going to space. Hello. What? Is this a mating dance? Maybe I just frightened it. Interesting. Okay. Well, we found a cave. We found some form of life. Engaged. The last one is over here. And it's Solar a very cold engaged. planet. Thirty five day. Orbit established. Proceed to Hangar Bay. That might be a cave. That might be a cave. Well, let's go this way and find out what's over here. Ah, there's a cave. So this whole star system, or this whole s sector rather, has had a grand whopping total of one temple in it. Not a lot, but I call it very little. No chests, nothing like that. All right. Let's get out of here. Sound lost on Twitch. Uh-oh. I do not have an alert that says I had a hiccup. My last hiccup was five hours ago. Maybe restart the page? Or refresh the page? Oh, well, if you lost sound, you can't hear me. Uh-oh. 
no errors reported here. Maybe re uh, fresh the page question mark. All right. So that was the last planet in this entire sector, I do believe. Orbit disengaged. Six stars. There's six visited. So that's the sector done. So what I want to do before I go over to the mothership is I want to put my nose into this next sector. So let's go M. Okay. And then go not that wall, this wall here. Warp engines go engaged. into the sector. Okay. Star system successfully approached. Now go to the mothership. That is hard to aim for. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yes. Warp engines engaged. Okay, let's trade. Get rid of all this junk that I don't need. Mothership successfully approached. Alright, put all this away, do that. All this goes away. And then I come over here and I grab you, 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 and you. And then I trade again. And I trade you. You, 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 and you. Awesome. They're down to 37,000, and I'm sitting at 238,000. Nice. All right. So let's select that sector again. Exit the panel. And there's only five stars in that sector. We have... Nine planets. Three. One. Six. And that was three. I kind of want to go keep going a little bit. Um... Fifteen. Eh. There's only about twenty planets, and it only takes me about two minutes tops per planet, give or take a little bit of fiddling around with maybe some ships. Let's just go ahead and clear out this sector too. 
It's it's only twelve thirty. Wow. Yep, engines engaged. I can see the plane of the star system. That's pretty neat. I know. We'll do the three smallest quantities. Star system successfully approached. Scan that. Scan that. Scan that. Go here. Solar engines A engaged. horde of goblins has appeared. RPG battle. Yeah, as long as I don't dally too long. Ooh, we have a very hot planet. Warning. Planet contains hazards. The only hazard Proceed I want to hear caution. is radiated life. If I can find that, booyah. All right. Now, granted, there's not likely to be much life on a volcanic fog planet. But I can dream. And I haven't seen any sort of structures. We'll call this one done. Admit. No, I need to I need to be as complete as I can. Let's go just check these hills. Cause if there's a cave I need to know. There seems to be no cave. Alright. So this is a nothing. this as a nothing orbit disengaged and then go to this planet here Solar keep the momentum engaged. going all right this has a high temperature of 434 kelvin that means that as long as the Temperature is above 400. If I find radioactive life, then that's the achievement. I'll take off my suit. Orbit established. What time Proceed is it? to hangar bay. Day. I thought it said 142. It's 42. <sighs> Let's see here. It's 434. And I doubt that there's going to be any life. A swinub, 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 pokey catch. Since it's the special event thing, probably not even a, a much of a chance to catch it with a regular Pokeball. But that's all I'm going to be getting is just the regular Pokeballs. If I can't get something with them, then I don't need it.
No, there's there's no temples. I will mark this as a potentially hot planet, though. The event is just to catch ice and dragon type Pokemon. Oh, okay. Wait, no. Okay, well, I'll wait. Ice and fire. Orbit disengaged. Okay. Solar engines engaged. Let's label this. Oh, wait, this was an this was a hot nothing. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Hot nothing. And this is just a hot. Oops, no, not that one. This is the hot. Nope, that says not. I swear I know how to do words and letters and things. Let's do that and let's delete. And this is a normal temperature. It is daytime. I got an egg or something. Ooh. They just match the typing. Oh, so the egg just means it matched the typing. Cool. Hey, look. Ruins. Let's reveal the cave. Let's go visit the temple. We have a sapphire temple. Ancient Elixir. Back to the ship. Label the planet. Move on to the next star. Orbit disengaged. Okay. You are three planets. Let's do this one. Warp engines engaged. But then there was one that had one planet. Was there one that had two also? Star system successfully approached. Scan. Scan. And orbit. Solar engine engaged. Save time. Daytime? Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Oh, I forgot to manually write down that temple planet. I'll have to go back to the map and look. Oh, it's one of these. The, I don't get to see the horizon planet. And I'm not gonna count this vapor life as life. I can't get anything from it. The only reason I need to know if there's life is if I can get something from it. And when these things 
explode. They don't actually drop anything. They just kind of poof. Well, I mean, there might be a temple. There's a cave. A horde of sirens has appeared. RPG battle. It's not looking like there is a temple. All right. Disengage. That was 3313. 30, okay, pen. 3313. There we go. And then go star, sector, star, click, planets, and go visit you. Solar engines engaged. It's only 1241. I should be able to do these two planets and that one system that has one planet Orbit in it. Orbit established. Proceed to hangar bay. Daytime. We have a cave and gaseous life. Caves. I've not seen any evidence of temples, but I can't discount it yet because I, I can't actually see. So I have to go around. Hey now. It was pushing me. At least it wasn't aggroed. Orbit disengaged. And last planet is past the star. Isn't it? There's those two planets. Gotta be. Gotta be like. 
like somewhere at this angle. Yeah, there we go. Solar engines engaged. This one is a very hot planet. Volcanic fog. Let's go ahead and mark it. Warning. Planet contains hazards. Hot. Proceed with caution. The high temperature is a superstitious number. With this sort of temperature, it it seems like an auspicious planet. There are some ruins. There's probably a temple. I would love to find some life. Some radioactive life at that. We have an emerald key. Alright, well, it's not a ruby planet. Ancient Elixir. Hee hee ha ha. Alright, it is still hot. Still daytime. I don't see any evidence of life. So I will label this as an Emerald Key Planet. Then we go to that other star. Orbit disengaged. And this is 33, 2, 1. There's already twice as many planets that have temples as the last sector had. Okay, let's find the star with the one planet. Is it you? That's nine. That's the one. And you over here were the six. Warp engines engaged. And I'll just do this as my last planet for the stream. We have Hypergiant. That could be a Star hot planet. Star system successfully approached. It, it is a hot planet. No atmosphere, no liquid though. It's a low chance of life. Can we orbit established? Uh, Proceed to hangar bay. Complete the achievement as the last act of the stream. Hot. Oh, there is a jump bluff. RPG. What, what am I doing? Pokey catch. All right. It is a very hot.
Oh yeah, I should probably do another forest raid before I'm done. I ought to set a little timer. Because I think you can do the forest raid once every 30 minutes or so. We have a cave. I see no life. A horde of wolves. RPG battle. Uh, RPG make wolf hide uh, helm. Oh, wolf hide RPG make wolf hide hat. Huh, maybe it's helmet. Or cap. Maybe it was cap. Oh, it's helmet? Oh, right. RPG make wolf hide helmet. Nope, it was not wolf hide helmet. RPG make wolf hide cap. Nothing. I have the body, I have the chaps, I have the boots. Gloves? RPG make wolf hide gloves. Oh, bracers, I mean. Bracers. Yay! RPG equip wolf hide bracers. Ta-da! That should be the whole wolf set. All right, one last pass on this planet. Let's go look this direction. I have the chaps. I have the bracers, the boots, the chaps, and the body. All right, I see no life. That means I can probably wear, like, an iron helmet. All right. There, there was no life. I saw no evidence of Geiger counterness. Let us leave. There's a werewolf hide helm. Well, I don't believe that I have encountered that yet. Okay. So that's... Orbit disengaged. It for that star, I would like to at least be on the next star. Warp engines engaged. Standard star, nine planets. <laughs> Star system successfully approached. Let's go ahead and scan all this. And while I'm scanning, I will go ahead and start the customary farewells. I do appreciate you guys hanging out and watching all the way to the end. It is great to have the company and the conversation. And I, I definitely enjoy being able to play these games for you, if not with you. Uh, I will be doing Starbound tomorrow, continuing with the adventures of Illinois Smith. I will probably be focusing on the mech. Wait. Oops. I labeled the star as hot. Ha ha ha. Hot. There we go. One, two, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need two outermost. Uh, anyway. Um, and then Thursday is going to be some more work on the manga sponge. Now, oh, I don't want to Solar orbit. I just wanted engaged. to scan. Now, I will also potentially be doing a little early stream tomorrow. Alright, let's look at this. That should be all nine scanned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome. Exit panel. So let's go ahead and save the game. Yep, and let's exit. Let's come over here to the talking head. Ba ba da ba. Ah. <sighs> Even though it wasn't finding the achievement or the missing uh, alien tech, I do feel like I was productive today. I managed to do two whole sectors and get on to the, the third and found some more hot planets to maybe go back to. We'll see. But uh, importantly, I found a whole bunch more temples to be able to come back to if I need to. Um, like I said, tomorrow's going to be Starbound and then more uh, Manger Sponge on Thursday. Uh, I will be trying to uh, doing uh, try to be doing some more streaming over the weekend if I can and then also I want to potentially do some earlier streaming uh, maybe even this, uh, for tomorrow uh, maybe do some infinite craft we'll see what that I hmm. see here's the thing before I do the infinite craft I want to at least get to the bottom of the list of what I've got to run, finish running through my filters because I'm compiling a list of candidates for streaming. So I think we'll see how how complete I can get it tonight. If I get it complete, we'll be having a, a, a potential infinite craft stream tomorrow. If not, then it may be Thursday. But uh, either way, that is going to be happening in the future. Uh see here any other things nothing that I can really think of do remember that on the 8th of next month is the total solar eclipse depending on where you are you might be able to see the totality of it uh, cuddles I believe you might be just missing it if you're going to be leaving before the 8th that would be unfortunate if you do manage to uh, still be there on the 8th then uh, hopefully you get to enjoy the eclipse do not look directly at the sun anyway um, I think that's basically it so oh there you go so you'll be you'll be directly under the totality that's that'll be neat uh, you'll be able to see it become nighttime in the middle of the day for about four ish minutes uh, anyway, that's basically it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can leave them in the YouTube comment section, or you can message me over on Discord, where I will be every day for my post-stream chill sessions, but also I have Discord open all the time. And if there's conversations to be had, I do participate. Uh, let's see here. I do need to see if there is someone to raid. So let's come over here. This is a muted tab. Let's go see. Um, there's Mirage. I could, we could do Mirage. Yeah. Mirage is up. All right. So let me do this come over here bring this up and I'll, I'll still be in town uh, 
Yeah, the state is closed. Be the state is closed because of it. What? What do you mean? The state is closed because of the eclipse? How? Um, that's that's funny. Anyway, uh, ooh, that's the one o'clock alarm. I'm going to go ahead and set up the raid. Let's do uh, boo -boo -boo. raid message. Um, Horde of Warlocks. RPG battle. Select and copy. Cool beans. And I will go raid. M I R A G E M A W S. They seem to be playing, let's see here, Super Animals Royale or. Yeah, Super Animal Royale. Uh, let's see here. That's. Yeah, that's basically it. I, I have a few other things that I need to be doing off and on here, but uh, it's pretty much taken care of. Um. Yeah, that's basically it for today. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like over on YouTube. If you haven't followed on Twitch, do so now. And if you haven't subscribed on YouTube, do so now. Also, I have links to my Patreon, my Streamlabs, and my um, uh, my YouTube membership. If you would like to help support the channel in a more substantial way than just liking, following, subscribing, and sharing my channel. But if that's all you can do, that's great. Uh, that's going to be it. This has been Thorn of Night playing Star Explorers. And not yet getting that final achievement, but hopefully getting closer. And we are going to go raid... Mirage Maws. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on this. And we will be over there. I will see you over at Mirage Maws if you are going to be hanging out. But anyway, this has been Thorn of Night. And I will talk to you later. Let's go raiding. <laughs>